So, Sam, uh, talk about being part of this amazing ensemble. Wow. Uh, gosh, I mean, I never thought I'd see the day that I'd be sat around a table on the first day of rehearsals with Hugh Jackman, Anne Hathaway, Russell Crowe, Amanda Seyfried, Eddie Redmayne, Helda Bonham Carr, and Sasha Baron Cohen, even saying it out loud now is, is overwhelming for me. It means so much to me to be surrounded by such a phenomenal bunch of actors. I think we all came at it from different point of views. I've, I've d got a lot of musical theatre experience, but I've never done any screen work. Someone like Eddie Redmayne has done a lot of screen experience, but does, has never done a musical. So we kind of all had something to bring and something to learn, and that was what made it so exciting. Now, Les Miserables is such an international phenomena. I mean, just talk about the scope of this, this story yeah. and the film and why it's timeless. I think the piece is timeless because of these beautifully written characters. You know, Victor Hugo is, oh gosh, he's incredible. And these characters ping out at you and their emotions hit you and you attach to different, to different characters at different stages of your life. I connect now differently with characters at 22 that I did at 16 that I did at 7 you know and I think every every time you go and see it you you feel something new for someone different and that's why I think it, it makes it just a, a classic timeless piece. Talk about Tom Hooper's vision for Les Miserables. Tom Hooper um, is definitely the most intelligent person I've ever met and his oh his mind is incredible his vision for this piece is so brave and courageous. It's easy for us to say, oh, it was so nice to have the freedom to sing live, but it was him who, who had utter faith that this was going to work. And, you know, he was faced with, by a lot of people saying, really? Like, have, it's never been done before. It's, it's certainly a brave move. But through his vision has allowed us so much freedom to create something that fuses the buzz of live theatre with the realism and truth of film to create something that's so unique. That's great. Um... Oh, wow. Can't believe I am spacing on this. Um, do you have one memory from the shoot that you could share with us? I've got so many. Um, I think on my own is, is an everlasting memory of mine. It's, there's just something about for me, you know, being on stage, you look around and you, you imagine this Parisian street of how it's gonna look like. And it's, you know, it's been a year of my life on stage. It's really, I started audition when I was 18, I'm now 22. This has been a huge part of my life. Eponine has traveled around with me. Um, and she's been the most consistent thing in my life. So to be, actually to walk on that stage, onto that set and see this stunning Parisian street, it, it was just emotional. The whole day was emotional. And, and I'll never forget that feeling of just feeling so emerged in this character this character that meant so much to me, and it, it was an incredible day. It was the best day of my life, actually. What do you think audiences can expect when they see this film? Audiences, oof, they can expect um, the thrill of live theatre, that buzz you get when you connect to a, to a performer on stage and you're all instantly travelling along on this journey together, um, fused with the most, you know, being lost in someone's world truthfully in film and believing every second of the way that they go along on this journey. Blending those two together creates this unique cinematic experience where people are actually applauding midway through the film in the middle of, you know, at the end of songs. That's such a unique experience. I've seen people going like, are we allowed to clap in a cinema? But that's the feeling it should have on you. It kind of connects those two worlds so beautifully. Thank you so much. Thank you.